What's up everybody, KG here, coming at you with a quick and easy tutorial teaching you how to swap your tokens on the new ETH POW or Ethereum Proof of Work fork of Ethereum. For those that don't know, the Ethereum Proof of Work or ETH POW fork came with a full system state copy, which gave you a one to one copy of every token that you hold or held on Ethereum at the time of the fork. In this video, I'm not going to teach you how to connect to the network or view your copied tokens. I just made another video on that, quick and easy also, and we'll drop that in the video description. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. All right. The main DEX that has been generating or handling most of the volume on the ETHPOW network is this DEX right here, KyberSwap. I'll drop that link in the description as well. For this video, you're going to need MetaMask installed, which I'm not going to get into. I'm going to assume that you already have it installed. When you first get to KyberSwap, it's defaulted to Ethereum. So click Ethereum, click ETHPOW, and click Connect Wallet. It may ask you, your MetaMask may pop up and say, approve the switch from Ethereum to ETHPOW, that's okay. Or it may also ask you to approve KyberSwap, that is also okay. And like always, when it comes to crypto security, if you're concerned about connecting to a network or a particular DAP, it is best to use a dummy wallet because in crypto, you should always be skeptical. Now, and you also need to make sure you're connected to ETHPOW or ETHW in your MetaMask. So in this tutorial, we're gonna be swapping from ETHW, the native token of ETHPOW, to HEX. And just like any other DEX, you select the token you want to swap out of, select the token you want to swap into. Now, if you can't find your token on this list, that's okay. Because all token addresses or contract addresses on Ethereum mainnet are the same on ETHPOW. So because it's a full system state copy, it even copied the contract addresses. So if you want to get the contract address for your token, go to etherscan.io or CoinMarketCap or Dex Tools or Dex Screen or whatever you use and just get the Ethereum contract address. It's the same exact one. Post, paste that in there. You can see it generates hex. If this is your first time interacting with the token on KyberSwap, it's going to ask you to approve the token, which will be a transaction that pops up in your MetaMask. You have to approve it, wait for that to confirm before you can actually, actually execute the swap. So here we go. We're going to do max of our ETHW, which gives us 510 hex. If your slippage, if, if you have a price impact too high error here click settings and then you can change your slippage amount the higher you put the slippage you, you have to keep increasing the slippage until that error goes away but for this swap i'm okay at 0.5 percent i'm going to click swap shows me my gas fee minimum received just like any other decks confirm swap an error occurred. Okay. So increase max slippage. So I did get the error. So let's go ahead. Let's just get crazy. I'm going to do 10%. It is, that is a lot of slippage, but we're doing a tutorial here. Swap. Confirm swap. And you can see now it worked. Waiting for confirmation. Make sure all details look good to you. Confirm. Transaction submitted. 
So now we're going to have to wait a moment till it confirms. I've already imported the tokens here. And just like any other DEX or network, you just import the tokens and put your contract address. I'll drop a video description where I showed you how to do this and overcome an error that some people are receiving when importing tokens. All right, I guess we're still waiting on that to confirm. There it is. Hex came in, ETHW left, and that's it. You are transacting on ETHPAL or ETHW. It is that quick, it is that easy. I will drop all links in the description. If you have any questions, swap success. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. I'm active and I will do my best to answer your questions. Thank you for taking the time to watch. I hope you learned something. If you did, hit subscribe, hit the like button. Have a great day.